everybody, Maction here, and at the Snail Booth, Peter is going to show us around their new hardware and a little bit of the software that they've recently uh, developed and have brought here to CES to show off. Peter, thank you very much, and what have you got for us? Well, uh, this year at CES, we're proud to show everybody our new W3D phone. Now, what this phone is, is you know, it's not only a gaming phone, it's also a, a dual SIM card Android-based phone. So uh, as you can see here, it displays 3D without glasses. Uh, now we, we do that by partnering up with a company called PowerD, uh, which you know slides a, a really thin layer of film on here to make sure that the 3D effect can be seen by the naked eye. Um, while the 3D effect is showing, we also have a camera which tracks where your eyeball is to make sure that you're within the optimum range. You know, you may be on your bed, you may be like tilting asleep. Uh, the phone will recognize that you've shifted a little bit and make sure you're getting the ultimate viewing experience. Um, the phone itself is an 8-core MTK processor at 2.0 gigahertz. Um, for graphics, we use PowerVR at 600 megahertz. Um, battery life is about 5 to 7 hours on hardcore play. Uh, on idle standby, it's probably like 10 to 16 hours on just sleep mode, probably six days before you need to charge it. Um, what's cool about our phone is that the, the button interface is actually an overlay macro. So any current existing Android game with on-screen tap controls can be adjusted to fit our phone by the end user. We don't need the game developer to help us with macroing. The end user decides which button taps where on the screen. Um, besides that, this phone, you know, like I said earlier, uses dual SIM cards, so it'll run 4G LTE, GSM, WCDMA. You know, it's pretty much designed to be a worldwide phone. And as you can see here, it's got, you know, your favorite front four facing buttons, dual analog joysticks, joypad, and four shoulder buttons. So this is running Android KitKat 4.4.4. Um, we do not have plans to lock it down currently. That means you can download games off Google Play Store if you've previously purchased, uh, Tegra Zone, OnLive, you know, even Amazon. So any Google-based distribution platform can be installed on this phone and you can receive the benefits of having those platforms. Maybe you have a previous account on them, you can play them on this phone. And our other big surprise is the Obox gaming console, which also runs 4.4 KitKat Android. It is also in the same sense an open source platform. So uh, right now it's recognized by the Google Play Store as a tablet because it's very similar to the Shield. You know, why? Because we're currently running the Tegra K1 chip. You know, and besides that, we're also using the 192 CUDA graphics processor by NVIDIA. So we're heavily partnered with NVIDIA currently to bring to the user the maximum and ultimate experience. Um, we realize that currently Android games are kind of small in file size because they're simple, they're casual. You know, they're about 100 megs to 200 megs for most of the games. Now, as we ask developers to join our movement and make deeper games for the Android platform, we realize that they're going to need more storage space. So we made a modular designed so that the end user can install their own hard drives within 30 seconds. So, you know, it'll fit both the 2.5 inch and the 3.5 inch, so you can get an SSD in there, you can get your traditional hard drives in there. We hope to ship the unit with 500 gigs outright, but of course the user has an option to upgrade. Now, besides the hard drive, the GPU is also modular. So we hope that, you know, the market agrees with us that there is a need for an aftermarket graphics processor for the Android console. And uh, the manufacturers agree as well and push some out. So our end user will be able to upgrade on their own. Uh, you know, Lowbox currently outputs in 1920 times 1080p, 4K uh, high definition. Uh, as you can see in the background, it also do 3D games. You know, if a game is optimized for 3D, if you have a 3D TV, it'll output a 3D game. I believe we don't know about pricing or availability yet on these items. I can tell you one thing. Okay. Snail Games is a game developer. So at E3, our home market, we're going to have a huge announcement for everybody in the gaming community and, you know, the console and, and phone community as well. So look out at E3 for our huge announcement. It'll be very exciting. Excellent. Thank you very much for meeting with us, for showing us around, and for giving us a chance to play around with these, uh, with these new products. No much appreciated. No problem. My pleasure. Thanks, Andy.